All across the world, researchers and educators are imagining new possibilities for education. This is one of the most exciting periods, I think, in the history of education in the last 15, 20 years, or perhaps in our professional lifetimes, actually. British Columbia's education community is working with several international experts, including Valerie Hannon and Tony McKay of the UK-based Innovation Unit, to discuss how to make our system even stronger through personalized learning. I have been intrigued by the efforts of this province to transform the life chances of its young people. Not by resting on its laurels, having done terrifically well in test scores compared to other countries and, and other provinces, because it knows that's not good enough in the 21st century. And it's prepared to address those issues with real enthusiasm, with terrific expertise. And we want to do all we can to help them look across the world to draw upon the very best to make British Columbia's education even better. We got a problem? Yes, we do. Even though British Columbia has a good system, we need to make it better to help students meet the challenges they will face as adults. Valerie Hannon explains why countries across the world are so concerned about education. We in the Innovation Unit have started to look at a series of changes, pressures on organised learning that we call the perfect storm. And there are five big pressures bearing down across the world on how organised learning works. So our mindsets need to shift. We need to, be, to, to, to get real, quite frankly, and recognise that for many young people, the experience of schooling is one which is pretty disconnected to their own experience of, of real life. Our kids are moving so quickly. Um, that the five-year-olds that come into my kindergarten classroom, they are proficient with all forms of technology and my staff, including myself, are running to catch up to them. I think the role of the teacher is to teach students how to think, but not necessarily what to think. There should be a way to, if somebody does want to learn more about a specific topic, there should be a channel in which they can go through to learn about that. If there are some things that I could take online, I probably would because that means I could take more classes or courses in school. So increasingly I think what you're looking at is young people who themselves feel some power over their own learning and that they can seek and look for ways in which they can develop themselves. But that's the kind, I think, of expectation, aspiration we have of a system that is meeting the needs of young people. The question then is, what is successful personalised learning? Personalised learning is a way to improve our education system by enhancing relationships between students, parents and teachers. Personalised learning is about working together to ensure the needs of each individual child are supported. How do you create now learning that is appropriate and responsive to every young person from birth through to lifelong learning. Personalised learning, when we see it done well, relies, and here's the paradox, on learning how to work collaboratively. I've noticed my own shift thinking about the personalised learning. I've always asked my students, because we know the relationship piece is so critical, what is it that you're an expert at? What do you feel that you could teach somebody else? I've asked my parents that this week, and I've brought them into the process. You are collaborative partners with me. Parents should definitely be uh, involved in the education of uh, younger students, say perhaps in elementary school. But as the student grows and uh, becomes more mature, I think it's good to give the student an opportunity to explore their own interests. The parent can be guide, mentor, coach, advocate, supporter, alongside the young person who increasingly takes ownership of his or her learning. The students that come to us are our teachers as much as we are their teachers. We're talking about new skill sets, about parents, about members in the community, about partnerships with business. There's a whole range of resources that uh, leaders and teachers can bring together in support of young people's learning. Right now there are people in our school that team teach. There are people in our school who get together outside of class and collaborate. It is a shift in terms of how we how we are in our classrooms. We need to be learning side by side. This is actually a collective endeavour.
the virtual delivery of courses or video conferencing. You can go on the internet and download the file from the class. I'm also using technology, using smart boards. Uh, if you want to do some research, you can just pop open your phone and use Google to find anything. Technology can support personalized learning by enhancing relationships between students, parents, and teachers. And it can open doors to a more personalized learning agenda for students, connecting their passions to the world around them. The rate at which knowledge is being created is phenomenal. It's doubling uh, every few months, and young people are experiencing that in a way that we, as young learners, could never even guess or imagine. It's very exciting. It's, it's fantastic to see. It's amazing to be a part of. Every single teacher in every one of my classes uses touchscreen uh, laptop in which they can just write notes directly to a PDF format. Things like that are just fun, and I think that they also, they also help the teacher. Digitization, terrific IT in the home, makes the curriculum, makes forms of assessment very accessible to families. Kids being able to access technology and work with students across the district, across the province, across the world. Automatic, online, right away. Um, and they're getting that in the class and they get to experience it and, and they absolutely love it. It's a really fun place to be. So that absolutely transforms the world of education because if we think it's just about getting access to knowledge or facts, then that's at everyone's fingertips. That is transformational. And it's got to mean that the way teachers think about their role changes too. Um, Burnaby South for you know, a number of years have developed really strong kids in technology and there's always been an interest around uh, networking and this is coming from the students. Learning uh, about Cisco and their uh, equipment has allowed me to be interested in other uh, areas of like the standard school environment so because I've had this experience I have the, uh, the inspiration to continue with these courses and the passion to make it into something that's real. People are amazed at what young people can produce when they're challenged in ways that fit in with their passions and when they're supported in a personalised fashion. British Columbia is a place that is committed to an ambitious agenda around learning for all young people. I mean, it's got multiple strengths and Folk in BC know they have a great education system. What's required is that we think differently about the learning for all young people. That means that every young person is going to have the kind of education that meets their needs with a set of wraparound services that can support them. This is fantastic because what we need is a skill set for the 21st century of a different order than we have now and BC is going after that.